Hi there, welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to explain how you can create privacy policy pages for your WordPress website. This is really important because it's a way that you can protect your website and at the same time it makes your website seem more legit. And also don't worry because this, you really don't need to write this content. We are going to install a plugin that will do this for you. Also by the end of this video I'm going to explain how you can add sharing buttons to your posts and pages to Twitter, Facebook and so on. So let's get started. Okay so at the moment I am in my back office and for me to go and add a new plugin I need to go to plugins once again and just press add new. The plugin that I want is called WP Policies. So you want to search for this plugin. You get to press search and you can see that it's the first plugin that appears on this list so I'm just going to press install now and activate this plugin so I can start using it. Okay. Once this is done, you want to go to settings and you can see that you have a new option appearing, which is WP policies. Just click on it. So once you come to this new page, you want to go to de contact details and add your information. This is the first thing that you want to do. So I'm going to do this really quickly. Actually, I'm just going to use the saved information because it's just quicker. So once you have this information, just press update options. Okay, now that is done, you want to go right below and just press import files. And this will import all of the new pages that you need for your website. There you go. You can see all of them over here. The reason why you want to add your contact details is let's say that you go to privacy policy and you press edit and you can actually edit the content that you see over here this is how it will look like once you published on the internet without a, without the HTML code I mean so you can see that over here you have for example over here you can see company which is in between brackets that means that once this page is published on the internet, this will exchange this information to yours, to the one that you put over here. So in this case, it will use your company name. So that's why you need to put that information below. Also, you can all create a new page by using this option. So you can create a new page. And once this is done, you can see that they recommend to put this line, this code line, on footer.php file and you, see, you can do that but there is a far easier way that I'm going to show to you now. I probably remember that we did a custom menu for our nav navigation bar which is this one and this custom menu is also being used for a footer section. Now what we are going to do is we are going to do a new custom menu but just for our footer section and we are going to add our new privacy policy pages there. So let's do that. Okay, so for you to do a new menu, you need to go to Appearance and choose Menus. Okay, so this is our main menu and it's currently being used on two sections of our website. So we want to exclude our footer menu. So we just exclude this option, press Save Menu. And now we need to create a new menu. So we go to create a new menu, we click on it. And now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to call this menu footer menu. And I'm just going to press create a menu. Okay, so once this is done, you need to have the pages that you want. As you can see now on most recent, we have all of the privacy policy pages appearing over here. So I'm going to have the ones that I need, such as this one, this one, this one. You can also have testimonial disclaimer if you actually have testimonials on your website. Also, I'm going to have my contact page and also my about page. And I'm going to just press add to menu. And there you go.
Now, the only thing that I want to add is a link back to my main, uh, my main or my front page of my website. So I'm just going to copy my, my domain name over here. I get to links. I paste it. And I had link test, which will be home. And I just had to menu. Okay, now I have all of the options that I want for this new menu. And I'm going to now organize them. So home will be the first one. My belt can be the second one. And I just leave contact for the last option. And now the only thing that you need to do is where you see theme locations just add to your footer section and just press save menu now let's refresh this website so you can see what exactly this will do okay now i have below a nice looking menu with my terms of use my privacy policy email policy and so on so this is exactly what this will do now let's go to the other thing which is had sharing buttons to our posts or pages if you want. So let's say that someone goes to this post, they read it, they like it, and very probably they want to share it with their friends on Facebook, on Twitter, and so on. And many times their friends might actually have similar interests. So what happens is their friends will also go to your website and read your content. So that's why you want to have sharing options to your posts and also pages. For you to do that, you need to have Jetpack installed, which I already explained previously. So you go to Jetpack. And actually, they made a new update, which has a different layout. So you want to go below and just press View All Jetpack Features. And you want to find this option that says Sharing. So just click on it. This page uh, appears and you want to click on this link that says sharing. And you're redirected to this new page. Okay, now you want to go below where you see sharing buttons. These are the options that you can actually add. You can add to Dig, to Facebook, to Reddit, and so on. And for you to do that, you need to enable them. So you simply drag them below. So in this case, I want Facebook. I just just drag it below, just like this. Let's add also stumble upon, Tumblr, Google Plus, and also Pinterest. And let's just add Twitter because I like Twitter. Okay, once you have the options that you need, you can see below a live preview. This is an example so you can get a better idea of how it will look like on your website. And you can actually choose different ones. Currently, I have the icon only, but you can also choose icon plus test. And as you can see, it changes. You can also choose only test or only official buttons, which look like this. And actually, in this case, I'm just going to leave it this way. You can also add a different label. In this case, I just have share, but you can also add, let's say, please share this. And also where you see open links in same window, I just prefer to choose new window. That means that when someone clicks on, uh, for example, to like on Facebook, a new window will pop out so they can do that. Also, you can choose the places where you want to have these buttons. You can add them to post, pages, media, front page, archives, and so on. In this case, I'm just going to choose posts. Okay, so once you have all of the options chosen, you just go below and press Save Changes. Okay, now let's refresh this post so you can see the difference. And there you go. Now I have some nice looking sharing buttons to Facebook, tw Tumblr, Pun, and so on, so people can actually share it. Okay, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, just leave it below. I will try to reply as soon as possible. So that is all for now. Stay tuned with Pro Sectorials and bye.